welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my second movie that I make. Um, I'm going to do them every two weeks because I still want to um, focus mainly on my illustrations, of course, making the full of freckles illustrations. Um, so that's why I'm doing them every two weeks. And the theme of today is what the hell is full of freckles? Let me start at the beginning. What is the beginning? The drawing or full of freckles? Because, yes, I've been drawing a long time. Let me show you. Cookies are like this amazing. If you look at them, they aren't that special. I wasn't like a wonder kid or something. Look at that! You've got the castle and like another house and all that stuff. As I said, I wasn't one miracle kid. I was just a kid that really loved to draw. A lot. Like, a lot. That's how it all started, but I promise you that will be a video for another time. I will show you so many more illustrations I made as a kid. <laughs> uh, because we're talking about Full of Freckles. I've been starting drawing Full of Freckles illustrations in... October of 2015 Wait There are actually three illustrations that are very important when I'm telling the full of freckles story this Is actually the first illustration that I made for full of freckles, but I didn't know it was for full of freckles it was just a sketch that I made. Like, this is the original sketch. And I made it and my boyfriend was like, oh, this is so cool. Let's put that on a tote bag and just give it to everybody on an event. And that's what we did. We just gave my illustration to everybody. And I really loved the illustration. It's like, she has a naked butt and she's an angel and she's fat. So how cool is that? I really have to do more of them. I will add it to the list. But then the second one isn't a full of freckles illustration, but is very important for the style that I draw in with the color pencils and all that stuff. On Facebook, I've got a friend that is a photographer. He made a picture of a guy driving his bike and he went just went to the flower market. And he had the flowers on the back of his bike and he had like a orange suit with a yellow pants and white hair. So he was a very cool guy to see, an old cool guy. And I saw that picture and I was like, I have to draw this. And so I did. And this is the guy. So look how cute he is. <laughs> I just love him um, and he's got the little nose and doll as oh he's so cute oh I still love 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 this illustration and it's like hanging in my in my studio so he's so cool so I had a connection with an illustration and it felt so good and I thought I have to keep doing this and later on I was sitting at some market uh, promoting my work, didn't really want to be there, all that stuff and I had time to kill. So I took up my color pencils and started illustrating. I didn't really think about what I was going to illustrate but having these drawings already made, the first real full of freckles illustration was born. And this is her. This isn't the original. The original is there on the wall. But this... Oh yeah. This is the first Full of Freckles illustration. And after I made her, my boyfriend was again like, this is cool, you have to do something with that. Because at that time, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was starting up as an illustrator, freelance illustrator, and I was like, okay, I have to do assignments for other people. I was thinking about what kind of illustrator do I want to be? Do I want to work on an hourly rate for clients? No. 
I want to do something that's really close to my heart. I want to do something that's mine. But I did enjoy making this illustration. It made me so happy to make this illustration. Because there were a lot of other things happening in my life as well. Yes, I made that self-loving journey as well. And it was a hard one. It was a really, really tough one. They all... I was a girl, not a woman, a girl at 21. I've never been kissed before. I didn't cuddle people. I didn't know how to love. Uh, and I had to fight off a lot of bullies. I had to fight off a lot of people who thought they could judge me about how I looked. You know, the whole thing, like driving on your bike at night and suddenly there's a car uh, next to you just yelling at you, fat cow. I, ha I have those stories as well. So that was something I was like, really sick and tired of. I was like, why? Why are people doing that? Because somewhere in my head that was always saying, you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, all that stuff. Suddenly in my head it went, sorry, excuse me, I am enough and I am awesome. Face it guys, I don't know exactly how it happened. But suddenly it was there and when that voice grew stronger and stronger my will to fight also became stronger and I was finally at a place that it all came together. I could look in the mirror and see myself and love myself. It was an amazing feeling. I made also these illustrations around that time and I don't think that's a coincidence because over the years I had so many trouble of finding an illustration style that was mine, my own, and I couldn't find it because I didn't know who I was. When I finally found myself and loved myself, my illustration style and just settled and I was also an amazing feeling. So I've got the illustration style and I've got that self-love journey and it just came together in Full of Freckles and that is why for me Full of Freckles is such a great gift and why I love, love making these illustrations. This project is, it, it's not mine alone anymore. Full of Freckles is for all of you guys. For everybody who is going through that self-love journey for everybody who is trying to open up their minds and seeing beauty in other people because that is what really full freckles is about happiness and beauty Okay, here comes the very cliche ending of a YouTube video. Are you ready? If you like this video, um, hit that thumbs up. Or if you're new and you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button. And of course, you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook where I would love to share my illustrations. And don't forget about Patreon because Patreons are the best. <laughs> no, really. Seriously, they are like super fan. And they make it possible for me to make all of this. So, guys, I love you so much. <laughs> That's the end of the cliche ending. <laughs> Did I do it good? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>